Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be covering Sword Factory Reforged, which is a game coming out very soon. It is a completely remade and better version of Sword Factory X. Sword Factory X was a great game, a lot of people played it, but it died due to the fact that everything was getting very unbalanced and due to the lack of updates. However, top tier games was bought out by Tailwind, and we have been remaking Sword Factory X in a new game called Sword Factory Forge. It will be released on the 7th of June, which is in 5 days of me recording this video. I'll probably upload it today as well. We do not have a whole lot of info about SFR, but we do know that's going to have a whole lot of brand new features and it will be a lot more balanced than SFX. If you made it over level 1000 in Sword Factory X, you will be granted some rewards in SFR. For example, if you got to level 1000 in SFX, You'll be granted with 50% off with every game pass in Sword Factory Forge for the first two weeks that the game is out. Then at level 1500, you'll get a special sword called the Primordial Sword. I'll put a video of what it looks like on the screen right now. It has like a neat trail effect with a gradient on it. It looks sick. It will be tradable, so it could be valuable in the future. However, be very careful with the sword, as if you lose it or you get scammed for it or whatever, it will not be getting, it will not get recovered to your account. They will not be doing recoveries for a Prime Mortal Sword. And finally, after all the hard work in SFX, if you somehow got to level 2000, you just played it till you die, you just gave that game your life, you will be granted the legendary, the mythical, the fabled Golden Machines. I mean, I guess it's kind of a flex that you sold your soul to SFX, but like, come on. Level 2000 for some repainted machines is a little bit disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Like, if I played that game for, like, thousands and thousands of hours, and then I just get some, like, repainted machines, not sure if I'd be a lot happy. Now let's go over some info for SFR, some of the important stuff, the fun stuff. Leveling up will be a lot harder than SFX. As Statter says, quote, In a way, to that feels fun, not broken. So leveling up will be a lot harder, but in a way that feels fun. Also, the hacked update, I believe, is completely scrapped and will not be in SF4, unfortunately, due to the fact I was not in a sal salvageable state when Tailwind took over. That kind of sucks, because we were waiting like seven or eight months for the update come to come out, and it never did. Now I don't think we're going to get it, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Now, this might be very disappointing to a lot of players, but dungeons will not be in SF4, due to the fact that, quote, they were just too broken to focus on for release. Which is a little bit understandable as in SFX, the dungeons were very broken. So like getting good swords, it seems like you could have just like gone to a dungeon, got a crazy sword that you'll never be able to produce ever in your life. So it just kind of removed the entire point of machines and producing. Which kind of sucked and it's part of the reason that the SFX got really unbalanced. So what it seems like is that SFR will be like a remade and better version of old SFX before dungeons and stuff. Because, also, I do not believe we are getting a re-enchanter in this version. Tailwind recently had AMA for SFR. It'll be the first link in the description if you want to go ahead and check that out. See all the info about the developers, what will come with SFR, that stuff that they're working on, all that. Then we also received a leak for a portal that will be in SFR. I'll put it on screen now. It's like a video of the portal. It kind of looks like a Rick and Morty portal. So I don't know about you, but I'm trying to get like an army of Mortys. And have them do unpaid labor for, for me and make my swords for me, you feel me? Anyways, that's pretty much everything you'll need to know about SFR before it's release. I'll put frequently asked questions on the screen right now. You can read through those. There's pods of video on them. Pretty interesting. It can get you to know more about the game. Anyways, thank you for, for watching the video. And I'll see you in SFR.